general practice, you may need to take action now. Because of the imminent impacts of data sharing, the GPC are asking general practice across the whole country to look at their data sharing agreements and in particular look at the way the incoming information is sent to the practices. This is because NHS England have been asked to send coded data from third party sources to practices directly. But it's important to remember that practices themselves are data controls and the responsibility of that data going to their practice is theirs. What does this possibly mean? Well, it may mean that third party services like secondary care, community services can directly input information into your patient records without you being aware of it. This could in some areas be a positive thing, but this could also impact the way that information flows to your practice and change the responsibility and liability of the way that you handle information as a practice team. As a result, the GPC are recommending that practices look at their data sharing agreements and change their current settings on their clinical systems. This is mainly focused around EMIS and TPP, and there are clear actions set out by the GPC that you can do. I'm about to show you what you need to do for both of those two clinical systems. So for TPP, to change this, you need to follow this. To disable incoming messages on TPP System 1, go to Setup, Users and Policies, go down to Organisational Preferences, and then you need to go all the way down to Interoperability, which is not expanded, to expand it, go to Incoming Messages, and then you need to select Off from the options here in terms of the GP Connect Update Record Messages. Selecting the other two options will still allow the data to be sent to you and then that would require manual processing if you choose to do so. Click OK and you're done. And if you want to know how to do that in EMIS, a big shout out to Dustin Saint from Primary Care IT who's created this guide that you can have a look at right now. So as per this guide, click EMIS bubble in the top left corner of EMIS. Go to Configuration, Organization Configuration. You need the correct permissions for this to be visible. Click Organization on the left menu bar. Click the name of your organization in the main frame. Click Edit. Scroll down to accept GP Connect update record via mesh and select No. This is the key part. Click OK. Click Yes to sign out and then you should be done. Now do remember it is your responsibility as a practice team to understand if this is the right decision for you and EGP Learning takes no responsibility in this matter. And it is always something you can switch on later on if you choose to. So just to be clear, this is the GP Connect update record. This is not GP Connect, which is a separate part of the information sharing and not to be confused. GP Connect update record is the one that allows secondary and other areas to directly input information to your records without your consent. This may have an impact on particular services, especially things like pharmacy first and stuff. However, it doesn't prevent you from doing things like referrals or connecting with community services in terms of information sharing through the normal route. If you want more information, check out the web links in the comments down below. It will take you to either a LinkedIn page or other resources, particularly those from the BMA with more details. Do recommend having a look at these before you make the decisions, but I also recommend doing this as quickly as possible if you choose to. There are suggestions this may be made mandatory by NHS England and asking the system providers to enact this directly. So as part of this, the recommendation is also to send a written communication to your data processor, which is the system providers like EMIS and TPP, to say that you should opt out of this. There are also some suggestions that this may be enacted directly, in which case you do need to do this ASAP. Otherwise, that option may be taken away from you, which I must admit I don't agree with. If you want to know more about data handling stuff in practice, particularly with TPP, check out this video right here. And please do share this with your colleagues.